Hello, my loves. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. So let's see what we have here for <clears throat> Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. So my so let's start with some of our channeled messages here for Cancer, okay? So Cancer, I felt a very strong energy of... Um, it's almost like a, a, a grenade blowing up here. Now, again, this could be in romantic relationships, friends, family members. The channeled messages may or may not resonate with the reading. Um, this is for somebody. I feel like someone is being hit at a left field. Like, I, I feel like someone here is just having a very, very rude um, awakening. Okay? A very rude awakening. Um and I, I feel like what's happening here is someone is starting to um, see that somebody here is either non-committal, controlling, um, you know, a very jealous or very possessive or, you know, just, a, you know, a very, um, uh, it could be very, it's just this energy of maybe being overly emotional, whether that's violent or rage, whichever way you want to go, okay? Um, with the Knight of Wands in the reverse, someone here has completely lost all passion for this because of the, you know, I, I don't want to say so much pain that was caused. It was the shock of everything the sudden change I feel like someone here just with the switch up you know what I'm saying someone here just switched up on somebody um, they just changed too fast too quickly you know what I'm saying too fast too quickly and I feel that um, somebody here is just wanting to walk away to go towards something that's just that, that where they get treated better do you see what i'm saying um it, it was just too big too big of a change all at once like someone here just it's like they woke up one day just became a different person all in one day and it was just too much for someone to absorb um you know i mean we all start relationships we all go through the honeymoon phase the honeymoon phase always kind of dies down and you know but that happens over the course of weeks and months and years and you know what I'm saying this was just like a complete turnaround this person went from like you know a total 180 all in like one day and it was just too much for somebody to handle all right so let's see here let's see here what we have happening okay um I also felt in the messages just a, a very strong fear of abandonment someone here has a very strong fear of abandonment because they know they deserve it okay um they know they deserve to be left for what was done so there was a very strong fear of being left all right so let's see what we have here for cancer clarity guys, love messages for my beautiful cancers please sun moon rising and venus signs clarity guidance love messages for my cancers please clarity guidance and love messages for my cancers please So we have here the Two of Cups. We've got the King of Swords in the reverse, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. We have the Nine of Swords. We have the Nine of Wands. And we have the Sun here with the Five of Cups. Okay. So, Cancer, this could be your side. This could be your person's side. Take it as it resonates. Okay. So, Cancer, first off, let me start by saying I feel like this connection um, is with somebody that you had tremendous love for. Very strong soul tie. When this connection started, now, if it's a family member, obviously it's someone that you have a lot of love for. If it was a friend, this is someone that you connected with deeply and had a lot of love for this person and if it's a romantic relationship this is someone that you intended to spend the rest of your life with this is someone that you um felt a very strong connection with at one point and then with the king of swords in the reverse someone just flipped you see what i'm saying someone just flipped the script king of swords in the reverse can be very abusive very violent the king of swords in the reverse can be narcissistic the king of swords in the reverse is somebody that is very intelligent they have a very keen understanding of how the human psyche works they have a very keen understanding of i want this to happen so this is the plan the strategy the problem is is that when the king of swords is in the reverse um he uses 
uses those skills or she uses those skills, we don't read gender and tarot for bad to create negative emotion. Okay. Um, the, the King of Swords in the reverse is very dishonest. The King of Swords in the reverse would be the wolf in sheep's clothing. And that's kind of the energy that I'm picking up here because with the two of cups and the King of Swords right there, I feel like someone here presented themselves to be so loving and kind and just this, this strong soul tie. Someone here was able to get someone to fall in love just to then switch the script. Do you see what I'm saying? Nine of Wands in the reverse and the Nine of Swords, you know, Cancer, I feel like whoever's on this side is ready to let go. Uh, the Nine of Swords is a tremendous amount of pain. They're one sword away from this completely ending. It's pain, it's trouble sleeping, sleeping a lot, depression, overthinking, always being in your head, nightmares. Um, and with the Nine of Wands in the reverse, someone here is tired of defending themselves or tired of living in fear or tired of, you know, because that Nine of Wands at one point is was in the upright, okay? So we would have had the Nine of Swords and the Nine of Wands in the upright. So this is somebody that is constantly living in fear. This is somebody that is constantly feeling the need to protect themselves, defend themselves. Um, and now with that Nine of Wands in the reverse, they don't have the energy to do that anymore. Someone here just, you know, can't wake up every day uh, being in a relationship where they have, you know, so much fear that they have to protect them themselves from something going wrong every day. Uh, with the Sun card, I feel like this person is starting to realize that. They're gaining that enlightenment that they need to heal from this. They're gaining that enlightenment that, you know, it's time to heal, move on, be happy. We've got the five of cups here. Someone here is severely disappointed, Cancer, because someone here thought that they had finally found their ten of cups. They thought that with the six of wands, um, this person was very proud of the connection. They thought they had hit the jackpot here. Someone here thought that they had really met their divine counterpart, a true soul tie, somebody that would love them till the end of time. Um, and now with the Eight of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles, I feel like somebody here um, is emotionally disconnecting, you know, is emotionally disconnecting. Seven of Pentacles could talk about nostalgia, looking at the past. It could also talk about looking at what they're investing in. You know what I'm saying? Someone is starting to realize here, I'm investing my time and energy into something very negative. And with the Eight of Cups, someone here is emotionally leaving the building. Someone here is checking out. Five of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Wands, um, I feel that, you know, someone here is, is, is starting to disconnect from the connection. And with the Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Wands, that's happening because somebody here is so overwhelmed, so unhappy that that Wheel of Fortune is stepping in and wreaking a tremendous amount of upheaval um, to bring this person to the place that they want to be. So if this person was looking for love, if they're looking for long-term commitment, whatever this person was praying for or manifesting, the divine is creating a tremendous amount of upheaval to get this person to where they belong, whether it's in this connection or not, okay? So let's see what we have here. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my beautiful Cancers. Tell me about the Two of Cups for Cancer. We've got the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Tell me about the King of Swords in the reverse. Okay, so we have, again, wolf in sheep's clothing, okay? We have someone here that came in with very sweet words, Cancer. This person was so sweet, so romantic, so kind, so loving, so many promises with that two of cups, okay? I mean, just Prince Charming, okay? You know, like really very sweet energy. And then with the Sun card and the King of Swords in the reverse, there's this wake-up call, this enlightenment of, oh my gosh, who is this person? You know what I'm saying? Um, this person just turned into... I mean, complete polar. Yeah, see, look, we've got the tower under the deck. I mean, polar opposite. Like, you know, they turned into somebody completely different right in front of your face. And it, it was a huge tower for you, Cancer. This is that grenade that I told you that I felt. It was like all your dreams, all your hopes, everything that you thought this connection was just fell apart. It just fell apart, Cancer, okay? Um, and with the Knight of Swords and the Five of Pentacles, you're, you're, you're in flight mode here now, Cancer. You just want to let this go. You know, you're in flight mode. You, you're living in fear here with the Five of Pentacles, and you just want to release, okay? Tell me about the Nine of Wands in the reverse. We've got the Six of Swords in the reverse. Um, I feel, Cancer, that for many of you... Um, 
you're very tired and with the six of swords in the reverse this could be an indication that you either keep taking this person back or that you want to go back to something okay with the six of swords in the reverse so take that as it resonates either the problem here is is that with the nine of wands in the reverse you can no longer defend yourself against this person you're very vulnerable because of the pain that they caused you so you keep taking them back or it could be a situation here where you're just letting go and returning back to something um maybe like moving back to a parent's house or going back to somebody or whatever the case may be tell me about the nine of swords here for cancer ten of wands overwhelmed giving up i can't take it anymore okay someone here just cannot take any more you know someone here cannot take any more um i feel that you know with the knight of pentacles the emperor and the three of cups um, you know, someone here had made so many promises. They were, they had made so many promises. There was so much joy. There was love. There was commitment. Someone here really thought that they had met their emperor or empress. Um, someone here at one point was very happy, uh, thinking that they had met their forever person here. And then with the two of wands and the nine of pentacles and the four of cups and the five of swords under the deck, someone just sabotaged it. Okay. Um, with the two of wands, I feel like there's a, 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 a person here that's kind of like, where did my person go? Like someone here fell in love with someone who doesn't exist. And now with the Nine of Swords and the Four of Cups, um, there's an energy of loneliness, tremendous loneliness, because this person is missing the person that they fell in love with. Okay. All right, they're, they're missing this emperor. They're missing the person that made them feel safe and loved, the person that made them laugh, the person that, you know, they could show off and, and, and be very public with. You know, they miss that, okay? Um, and they're realizing that that person is gone. Tell me about the sun card here for Cancer. Yeah, we've got the world card and the three of swords. Someone here is coming to the realization that this is, it's, it's and it hurts. It's, it's hurting this person so much. They're coming to the realization that this is over because the heartache is overwhelming. It's overwhelming. Yeah, see, look, we've got the star card here, Aquarian Energy, the Five of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, the Empress, and the Nine of Wands with the Eight of Swords and the Two of Cups. So, Cancer, you know, someone here is just wanting to leave so that they can heal from this. With the Nine of Wands, the Eight of Swords, and the Empress is what we have here is somebody that has responsibility. Someone here has maybe a high-level job, they're a parent, they run a business, um, so they have a tremendous amount of of responsibility on top of being an eight of swords and nine of wands mode this person is always in their head fearing that something's going to happen fearing that something is happening behind their back nine of wands exhausted from trying to defend themselves and you know with the two of cups and the chariot here i feel like someone here just wants to move towards a connection um, that is healthier that is healthier all right so let's see here Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my beautiful cancers, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my beautiful cancers, please. Tell me about cancer, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs, please. So we have the seven of swords. We have the eight of cups. We have the six of cups. me about cancer please three of pentacles in the reverse and the four of cups okay so cancer on this side we've got your person here the hierophant taurus energy um now cancer this person with the six of cups and the hierophant may have an ex-wife or an ex-husband or there may be um you know a past uh person here that they had a very strong soul tie with that they had a very deep relationship with with the seven of swords and the eight of cups this person is lying about that you know the eight of cups talks about emotionally disconnecting they're lying when they say they don't care they are lying when they say that they've truly walked away they're lying when they say they don't love this person and with the six of cups and the three of pentacles 
it's not going to work between them and this past person. They could not work things out with this past person, but it is not true that they do not have feelings for this past person. With the Four of Cups here, this person is missing this person. They feel lonely without this person. They feel rejected by this person. Um, with the Hierophant, this person is still very much um, committed in many ways to this past person. Um, if they were married to this person, they still see this person as their wife or their husband. Um, this, you know what I'm saying? That it is a, a straight up lie when they tell you that they are over somebody. Okay. Um, we've got the Empress here, the Magician and the Strength card. Yeah, I, I feel like someone here is manifesting an Empress back into their life. With the Strength card, this is being withheld from them okay they felt a very strong bond with this person they're trying to manifest it back together with the ten of swords here though um i feel that uh you know it, it it ended badly between your person and this person but it is not true that this person does not carry emotion for this past person so let's see what we have here tell me about the seven of swords here for cancer please we've got the two of wands in the reverse Tell me about the Eight of Cups here for Cancer, please. We've got the Judgment card in the reverse. Decision is final. There is no second chance with this past person. I mean, there's not even a hope for a second chance with this past person, but this person still wants it. Tell me about the Six of Cups here for Cancer. We've got the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo Energy, Three of Pentacles in the reverse, and the Death card. So, Cancer, this is somebody that feels that they have changed enough to work things out with this past person. But the Three of Pentacles in the reverse, I feel like this past person just doesn't want to hear it. They don't care. They're not interested. With the Devil card, um, I feel like someone here views this person as toxic. They view them as toxic. Um, someone here may have had a drug addiction. They have may have mental health issues. Uh, they may be chained to gambling or cheating or being deceptive or lying. And that is how this past person views this, your person. And, and there is no going back. But your person um, still wants it, okay? Tell me about the Four of Cups here for Cancer. We've got the Hanged Man in the reverse. Um, tell me about the Four of Cups and the Hanged Man in the reverse. Yeah, so what's happening here, Cancer, is you have somebody that is waiting around, being rejected, hoping and praying that this past person will wake up one day and see that they have changed and want to work things out. And there can be a new beginning again here between them. Um, yeah, I feel here cancer with the eight of wands, the two of pentacles, the lovers card, the queen of cups and the seven of swords here. So look at what we have here. So we have the eight of wands, the two of pentacles, the lovers, queen of cups and the seven of swords. You are this person's backup plan. So what's happening here is this person's waiting, trying to show this past person that they're stable, that they're good now, that they are no longer in that devil energy. And if it absolutely never works out with this past person, you're there on the sidelines waiting. But they're ready. You see how in Seven of Swords mode, they're ready to dip on you any minute. If this past person were to say, okay, let's work it out, they'd be gone in a heartbeat. Okay, so yeah, Cancer, I, I feel like it's time to realize, yeah, see, uh, Page of Swords, Three of Wands, Five of Cups, it's, it's time to realize here that someone is still holding a lot of pain and sorrow and disappointment uh, for somebody else. With the Three of Wands, this person is still looking for somebody, uh, telling them, I'm sorry, you know what I'm saying? Someone here is still trying to apologize um, to another person here. Seven of Pentacles and the Five of Wands wants. Someone here is nostalgic, looking at the past, looking at arguments. Um, with the Nine of Cups and the High Priestess here uh, the tr and the Ace of Swords, the truth of the matter here is, is you're dealing with somebody that is quite infatuated and still very much in love with somebody that they cannot have. 
okay and with the seven of wands and the two of swords and the six of cups this ex wants nothing to do with them and i mean truly absolutely nothing to do with this person and you're just sitting there as their backup plan cancer all right let's see here clarity guidance and love messages tell me about the challenge here for cancer tell me about the challenge for cancer please Okay, so we've got the Ten of Swords in the reverse. We've got the Emperor in the reverse, Aries Taurus energy, and we have the Two of Swords. So, Cancer, the challenge here is, is that this person is being blocked from being in the relationship that they want to be in. The Emperor in the reverse, Ten of Swords in the reverse, this person, um, it's never going to come back together. They'll never be able to have a committed relationship with who they want. This blockage is there. Um, Two of Swords also talks about needing to make a difficult decision. So the challenge here is you know, the person on this side needs to make a decision and realize that someone here is not the emperor or empress they thought it was, end it and never go back with the Ten of Swords in the reverse. Someone here needs to make finally make that decision. Um, and I feel like this person here needs to make the decision and realize that, you know, they are no longer with that past person, married to that past person. They will never be emperor there again. Okay. Um, let's see here. Tell me about the outcome for cancer the outcome here for cancer we've got the fool card in the reverse aries energy the hermit virgo energy and the ace of wands so cancer i feel here that with the fool card in the reverse you're not willing to take risks with this person any longer with the hermit card you may start to withdraw fall into depression um really start analyzing the person in this situation with the ace of wands you may meet someone new Okay, you may start talking to someone new, um, but with the Five of Swords and the Death card and the Five of Cups, I feel here, Cancer, that you're facing the disappointment and pain of this connection. You're realizing here that this was just a game. With the Five of Swords, you were being played, and with the Death card here, I feel like your feelings have changed, or you're truly, you know, with the Death card, that's an ending and something new coming in. So perhaps, Cancer, you may have new love coming in here. Okay, there may be something very new, very passionate, very loving, very spontaneous coming in to your life. Okay. I love you all so much and I will see you soon. Bye my loves.